When the pigeon returned, carrying in its beak an olive branch, it augured well for the survivors. For the olive branch was a good omen that the water had abated, and that the Ark of Noah will come to rest on a land of agriculture and pasture. From Theron, olives were synonyms of goodness and peace. In these immortal areas of Syria, the present and the past have the same shape. Time appears not to have moved at all. For thousands of years, history in these fields has always repeated itself. Every day, it follows the same rhythm. Sun and rain, soil of the earth, and these giant trees that never age, dying yet still producing fruit, giving the oil of today as they gave the oil of yesterday and distant yesterdays. On this land more than 9,000 years ago, there prevailed a kingdom where olive trees flourished and spread, the kingdom of Ebla. The kingdom of Ebla is one of the most important archaeological discoveries and the governate of Idlib. It is considered as one of the most important archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. For thousands of years, Ebla has been famous for its crops and fruit trees, especially the blessed olive tree. Deciphering Ebla's cuneiforms revealed that since the 7th century BC, this area has been known for the plantation of olive trees. Now, we also know the amount of oil that was produced in the kingdom of Ebla. Also discovered were a number of clay jars that used to carry oil in the royal palace of the kingdom of Ibla. Ibla was obliterated, as were many other kingdoms. But olives remain the basic nutrition for man. When the kingdom of Palmyra rose in the central middle region of Syria and its influence spread to the Orient, olives once again found respect and sanctification. Here is an eagle of Palmyra carrying an olive branch in its beak. The eagle carries the olive branch which symbolizes peace, in a way better than the pigeon can. Here is a symbol of peace, the peace of the strong and the just. In the kingdom of Palmyra, the olive tree was the most important within the fruit trees grown in the city. The ancient people of Palmyra worshipped the god Mushhiya, god of olives in Palmyra. In this bas relief, we see the eagle of Palmyra. To his sides, we also see two eagles, each carrying in its beak an olive branch that symbolizes the peace based on justice. In Palmyra, there are still a number of olive presses found in different locations. The most important of these are two olive presses that we can admire today in the square of the Temple of Baal, and this proves that olives were a flourishing industry in that city. It is as if this stone press has never stopped turning. And the oil itself is the oil of this immortal tree. Ancient man in Syria originated the alphabet, designed the alpha and the rest of the letters. He also developed the alphabet of agriculture, 
growing wheat to make bread, and olives for food and oil. In all holy books, an example was given of wheat as a symbol of everlasting goodness, and the olive tree was named the Blessed Tree. God swore by its olives and placed light in its oil as much as he wanted. The olive tree became a shining light throughout the ages, and throughout the ages man has conceived the goodness of olives and olive oil. New scientific research has established and proved the nutritional health and medical benefits of olives and olive oil. Every now and again, yet another new benefit of this unique material is discerned. In modern Syria, the cradle of olive cultivation, olive-related activities have become intertwined with the way of life and nutritional tradition of a people. It has become an important part of culture and tradition. Today, like yesterday, it forms the livelihood of many. The Syrian farmer is known for the strong bonds he has for his land and for his family's total dependence on its produce. This fact is clear in small and mid-sized olive holdings owned by about 150,000 rural families with all families working on the land. Since a long time they inherited the experience of olive cultivation turning it into a tradition-orientated, specialized, and professional activity. With seasonal rituals, this activity starts with seedlings plantation, land cultivation, tree pruning and care, to finish with harvesting the olives that result in high-quality olives. The Ministry of Agriculture and Agrarian Reform, MA, provides farmers with services and extension advice to encourage them to adopt improved technologies and to optimize results. MA Olive Bureau has already introduced an integrated pest management program. This environmentally friendly measure limits pesticide use and guarantees that the Syrian production of olives and olive oil is free of pesticide residues, healthy and environmentally safe. MA also encourages farmers to adopt agricultural practices that ensure good quality olives and oil. For example, the olives that have fallen on the soil are pressed separately from those harvested. The olives are transported into perforated and well aerated boxes, thus they don't ferment and don't produce bad quality oil. In small and mid-sized farms, Ma encourages that olives are harvested by hand. Hand harvesting confirms the professionality of the Syrian farmer and the integration of his life with that of the olive tree. It also ensures that olives are free of any cut. However, large sized farms require the introduction of mechanical harvesting techniques. These are already in use in many olive holdings. Syria is now considered an advanced country in the field of olive and olive oil production. We have about 64 million olive trees of which 40 million are fruitful. We expect to reach the target of 70 million trees within one decade. There are several famous olive varieties in Syria, such as Sorani, Khudayri, Duaibali, and Dan, Qaisi, Jlot, Musabi, and Hazam Abu Sattal. Unique genetic and chemical specifications characterize Syrian olive oil, giving it an excellent quality taste. 
Such specifications are originated by the same olive tree locations, which are usually fit only for olive plantation. There the soil is suitable for olives. The favourable environment conditions are appropriately variable. The winter has a moderate temperature, while in summer trees are exposed to an adequate amount of sunshine during a long and sunny season, thus giving a greater chance for the aromatic elements in olive oil to form. Another important genetic specification in the Syrian olive oil is the presence of high content of oleic acid. Extra virgin olive oil forms 60% of the total Syrian production, while virgin olive oil forms 30%. Olive oil industry is steadily flourishing in Syria. Here it is possible to see all generations of oil pressers. Even though the stone press has become almost a relic and is never used, there are different oil presses that are still in use. However, last fashion technologies are being introduced more and more. Many ultra-modern presses are widely spread throughout the country. Soap production has also evolved in Syria. The olive cake, an olive byproduct, is extracted and sent to many soap factories diffused in the country. Another important sector on the increase is oil refinement, bottling and storing. Local or international oil consumers can identify in the Syrian oil all international standard specifications. Syrian farmers are aware of the environmental issues. We expect that the Syrian olive production will soon be free of any pesticides residues, which is a remarkable advantage. The Olive Oil Bureau Laboratory can now execute sophisticated oil analyses. The lab is constantly being developed. This bright and positive picture justifies Syria's ambition towards overpassing its current worldwide position as number six among the ten most important producers of olive and olive oil. It is expected that the Syrian oil production will increase within the forthcoming years. Currently, olive trees form more than 60% of whole fruit trees in Syria, making the olive sector occupy the third position after cereals and cotton. Ma is constantly working in order to develop the oil sector, to expand olive tree areas, to increase number and to improve quality of olive varieties. Many agricultural development projects are now implemented within the country. Rocky lands are cleared and transformed into agricultural lands where crops and fruit trees could be grown. Especially olive trees have proved to be environmentally valid and successful in these new areas. In addition, there are large numbers of young trees that every day start their productivity age. As for the old trees with less productivity, they form only 9% of all trees. Renewing pruning rehabilitates their efficiency. However, they are witness to this kind of noble farming in Syria. At the same time, productivity of Ma nurseries have clearly increased and improved. Ma is striving to expand nurseries able to produce reliable seedlings. 
As of today, more than two and a half million seedlings are planted every year. We expect the Syrian olive oil to enter the international markets with strength. Every year, we have a very good quality surplus of olive oil. It has the international specifications standard. Mark cooperates with the concerned parts in order to expedite exporting the surplus of olive oil and to market it especially in international markets that have only recently started to prefer the olive oil and to recognize its medical and nutritional benefits.